Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a print once you've made your tile like this. Okay, so um, trying to keep it nice and simple, the sort of things that you might have in your own house. So I'm going to use just this tissue paper to make something to spread my ink out on. So I just rolled a piece of tissue paper, kitchen towel there, and screwed it up like that. Because I need something I can spread the paint out evenly with. So I'm going to uh, use this plate. I've got some paints on there. Now they're not any special paints. Normally when you use, when you do printing, you would use um, printing, which is thicker. But because you're at home, and chances are you haven't got that sort of uh, printing ink. So I'm just going to use some paint on like this. And use this to spread it out evenly. So I'm going to mix up my paint a bit with some of this. And it's mostly going onto the raised up bits on the tile, not onto the bits that go in between the lower bits, the lower places. Ah, bit of blue on there. So I'm using the plate to even it up a bit like that so we don't have big lumps of it anywhere. And then press it onto there. You can also use, if you wanted to try it, a brush, a household brush like this. And you can stipple with it by pressing it down like that onto there. But I think this actually will probably work better. Press that onto there. Now, this ink is a little bit, because I've used a cheap one, just because that's the sort of thing that I thought you might be able to find easily where you live to go and buy. I haven't, it's not as good as it would be if it was better quality paint. So if you can get better quality paint, it's worth it because you get more pigment in it. So you get brighter colours, you get thicker paint, and so you get a better print. Just trying to go over it a little bit because it's drying out, so I'm overlapping it a little bit just to thicken it up a bit. Don't want it too water. Overlap that on there a little bit more. I'm going to try and do that last corner where my fingers are. I think I'll make that a bit darker in that corner, so I'm going to use a little bit more blue. I keep that still, like so. Okay, so it's fairly even. And then I'm going to get my piece of paper. I want the paper down on there first of all, because it's much easier. Rather than putting the, that over the top of there, what you would normally do is get your print, turn it over and drop it onto your tile, then uh, onto your paper and then from the middle, work outwards like that pressing outwards old cloth press it down like that pressing very firmly and then turn it over now i've not used any sort of special paper here because again i don't think you're going to have any special sort of paper um, at home so I've just used the printing paper they've, they've um, paper from my printer it's thin which is not ideal but just so you can learn the techniques and understand a bit about printing um, it should do okay if you've got a thicker paper try that out because you might get a better quality print it may look a little bit nicer so use your cloth again just to press evenly all over like that. And then you're ready now to, I've got somebody's hair on there. Then we go and we peel that off. Like so. And there you have a print. Now you can do the same and you could probably do it about four or five times the reason you can't do it too many times is because if you remember this is coated with PVA glue and that PVA glue starts to um, absorb the water 
and you'd have to stop because it starts to get really really sticky when it starts to get sticky that's when you want to stop you can let it dry out if you can completely dry it out then you can do it again over the top i'll just do another one very quickly see if we can get another one on there now that other one was getting a little bit st sticky there so i'm going to try and make sure my paint is a little bit thicker this time it may be that the paint was just drying out too quick. So I don't want it to dry out too quick, otherwise the paper might end up sticking to the tile, which is not a good thing. A bit more blue on there. So you could, if you let it dry, try out different ranges of colours. See how they come out. And... Again, I'm going to put my piece of paper down first of all, because this way it's less likely to move when you put your tile onto the paper. You don't want your paper to move on the tile, otherwise you get a blurry image. Start from the middle, press outwards, press it so it's stuck to the paper, turn it over, and rub it on the other side and be careful not to do it too long this time because it was just starting to stick last time so I'm going to stop there and peel the paper off like so and there we have another print there we go and you could Essentially wash this off. If you're going to wash it off, if you're going to wash the ink off, you'd have to do it very, very quickly so that the water doesn't start to get underneath those pieces that you've stuck on with the PVA glue. Like I say, PVA glue will absorb the water. So if you're going to wash it, do it very, very quickly because you don't want any of the card to start absorbing water, which it would do down the edges and perhaps underneath those pieces there. Okay.